What is up, fellas? Hopefully all is well. Number one team in the country, officially according to BCS rankings. It looks like we're well ahead of Oklahoma USC. Remember USC, I think it was just as early as last week, or just as recent as last week. Number one country, or number one team in the country. Us at number two, I think the media poll just didn't buy us that much. Looks like now the media poll is dictating a lot of that, but this is the top 10 with Ohio State at five, Texas at six, Notre Dame, Florida State, Florida, and then Arkansas finishing it up right there at number 10. But now the Heisman watch, the man of the moment. It's been kind of the man of the moment, considering this is his campus legend, fellas. Cleaning up the interceptions, well on pace to get the most touchdown passes he's had in any season so far in his illustrious career here at the University of Iowa and Iowa City, partying up not only off the field, but getting things done on the field as well. Number one for the Heisman race right now, followed right by his teammate, the man who's his number one target in this offense. And not only that, he's almost got 2,000 all-purpose yards in just eight games. DeMarco Murray right there, halfback number seven with Oklahoma. Then the stud wide receiver for Michigan had a very good game. Gerard Johnson still putting up huge, huge games. 32 total touchdowns, not 43 total touchdowns like we've seen with B.J. Simmons. But still, it's just, uh, just looks like Tim Tebow's record is about to just get destroyed. Um, same thing with uh, Colt Brennan's just total touchdown record. And I'm only saying that without saying Joe Burrow because this is the timetable for it. It's technically, what, 2010, 2011? And we're on the road now. Wisconsin, always been a team for B.J. Simmons and the boys, kind of struggling a decent amount with. Lost in the first season against them. Obviously have not lost a game um, since, I believe. I don't think we have lost a game since this Wisconsin game. Or I could be wrong. Maybe it's the Minnesota game. It doesn't matter. We have not lost a game in a just about two seasons worth of games. I think it's like a 26-27 game winning streak. But Wisconsin, number 17 in the country, 7-2. and two. They still have their man, Mr. Pat, at running back, I believe. No, this should be James White at this point for this team. But number 5 on this team. But talking about the man of the moment, B.J. Simmons, right there. Only the 13 interceptions. Decent amount of interceptions. But we'll have to see how many he's going to put up the rest of the year. I think uh, no Ohio State on the schedule this season. Interesting at that, especially with the year that this team looks really, really amazing on offense. Um, again, it's a home game or a road game against Wisconsin, one of the best rushing teams in the country. This is actually another matchup of two top 10 offenses statistically in all of football. And not only that, I'd say talent-wise as well. And speaking of, just what a catch by wide receiver number 10. Reed right there, one of our solid young, young corners on this team just not able to keep up with the man on that one bad timing on my part for trying to tip the ball but i think it was just a perfectly ran play by both the quarterback and this wide receiver you couldn't have had a better toss to where i couldn't touch it even if i felt like if i was on time and i'll put quotations around that um just solid solid play to start this one off but however there's going to be unsportsmanlike conduct on wide receiver number 10 it's going to take him back and not only that it doesn't fucking matter all it does is just add 15 yards to the uh, statistics of this running game. Wisconsin's offensive line pushing it around. You see right there, OU gets a win. Now 10-0 and on the season. And now this game is 6-0 and after that touchdown run by halfback number 5. 34 yards on the day and then a blocked kick by linebacker number 57. And of course, that's how it's just going to go. We're, talking about, we're <laughs> talking about how this team, Iowa... Hasn't really been performing all too well in the Texas A&M franchise or dynasty. You saw that that archive or the ESPN uh, Sports Illustrated, whatever cover talking about A&M not playing um, all too well against competition. Well, that's kind of more so the case with this Iowa team. What's going to go down here? Um, obviously, B.J. Simmons, beautiful run here on first down. Try to open things up. <coughs> Excuse me. Try to create a little bit of momentum. Beautiful dart. To Mr. Norton for a first down. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus. But on that one, Redwell, cornerback number 31, cuts off the curl route. I thought we'd get a little bit more better positioning from wide receiver number 88. I thought with B.J. Simmons' statistics, 
his attributes. He would throw a little bit better ball. I was try I usually try to push the uh, thumbsticks to the left or the outside, whatever the outside is, if you're throwing left or right at the moment, just to kind of keep that corner off bay. Um, just It is what it is. And just like that, a wake-up call is needed, fellas. This is just a thrashing to start this game. Wide receiver number 10. Just destroying what is technically the strength of this defense, which is the secondary, even though we've given up a decent amount of yards through the air. It's usually what I found when playing these dynasties and franchise and video games in general. It's harder to play um, with the secondary, or at least prevent some plays as your uh, computer-controlled players, besides the one you control at any given moment, tend to uh, give up a little bit more in the passing game. But right there, Mr. Lewis... Huey Lewis in this defensive news, getting things done. 15-0 to zero to start this one off, and then just gets worse and worse. Wide receiver number 89, drop pass on that one. B.J. Simmons knows something's up. He knows something needs to be up, and it needs to be this Iowa team in general. Giving up a big play right there, 15-0. to zero. Nice, nice run, just a solid, solid run. By halfback number five, however, though, on a third and short. It will now become third and medium. Third and six now after the false start by the offensive lineman. Still in the first quarter, mind you. And right here, pass down the field, but beautiful, beautiful deflection by who is going to turn out to be a very, very good safety for this team. And then there you go. Is that our man of the moment? I think it is. Left end. Technically, our solid or more so star left end, is out, 94. He's been injured for about seven, eight weeks. But now time is of the essence, and we're going to have to get down the field more and more. B.J. Simmons, what a move, though, and it's going to set up a touchdown. Let's look at the highlight, folks. What a run, but more so I think it is just amazing blocking down the field after what is just a sick juke move right there against the Wisconsin linebacker. What a play by B.J. Simmons. What a needed play right there. 7-15. to 15. Should have gotten the sack by right outside linebacker number 42. The guy's kind of had a stinker of a season. That man, however, on the other hand, is doing the exact opposite. Beautifully done by Mr. Benson. And then a poor choice of play call on third down. is going to lead to Iowa ball. B.J. Simmons gets his shit rocked. But it's going to be a first down, though. Second and 10 later on in the drive. Another nice run set up. What a juke move right there by B.J. Simmons. And then that's just basically what it is. It just That running game is non-existent when handing it off to the running back. He is able to get a cup, and, well, probably about 10 yards on that play in itself on the reception. But still, though, B.J. Simmons is trucking down the field. You know, if you're going to be part of a team that's defending a national championship, a team that has aspirations to get another one, you're number one in the country, what's going to go down when you're facing a team like Wisconsin that, honestly, just you're on the road, you're playing a good team, and then right there, just that's a shame. Probably could have been picked off, so that's fortunate in itself. But B.J. Simmons just locked up. There's all. There's just so much you can do. doesn't matter how good you are. Um, the blocking hasn't been good at the beginning of this game. Uh, wide receivers are missing catches. They are missing blocks on the outside. B.J. Simmons just looked pretty much like a headless chicken on that one. Um, it's going to lead to negative 17 yards on the sack. Wisconsin up by 8 still. Is it going to be 5 after that one? You betcha. Nice field goal right there by our kicker. Getting things done right here. I mean, just not a good start, but only down by 5. And then right here, whoo, cool play in general. Hatback number five just uses his bench press to throw this man off of him. D-tag, I think it's Luke right there, but it's going to be linebacker 51, who has had pretty much a way better season than right outside linebacker 42, which is a shame considering how good 42 was last season and headed into this year. It is what it is, though. We're going to have to utilize this man down the field. B.J. Simmons, beautiful broken tackle. It's going to be another first down by him. He is actually leading the nation in broken tackles. A very shifty man. Should have thrown it to the halfback on that one. But who knows? It's just throwing it to running backs in this game is just not very favorable in general. But right here, another drop pass. This guy's in the Heisman race, fellas. Why is he dropping two passes in a game? 
All right, if you're gonna have one of the best wide receivers in the country, you can't be dealing with that shit. And then B.J. Simmons, another broken tackle, highlight move, down by five right here. What's he gonna do? He's gonna throw it down the field, and it's gonna be another drop pass. Probably again, should have tried it eventually to the running back who's been wide open in all these passing plays. Um, but there's just such little time. Probably should not have ran a <clears throat> play action on third down. That's my fault, if anything. But still going to lead to three more points, 13 to 15. Wisconsin pretty much has allowed three scoring drives since starting off 15 to 0, where they had that. I'm pretty much sitting here. I didn't think that we'd be making such a move before the end of the half, considering the game fucking starts off with a blocked extra point that only leads to, you know, their fucking kicker picking it up and running it in. It's just shit like that. But right here, forcing enough, get the block. Right outside linebacker 42. He did not get the interception on the previous play. But however, though, he's going to prevent any chance of fuckery by the kicker or the backup quarterback, for that matter. And it's going to be a block by Johnson. It's going to be no more points for Wisconsin. The lead's going to stay at two, and here we are in the second half. It's time to go, folks. And then bam. Shit like that will make you tilt. It'll make you tilt. But just make sure while you're tilting, don't fall over in these games. Because this game's not over yet. We're only down by two. We did just ruin the advantage of getting the ball second like that. Only being down by two in the game. And then wide receiver number 10. Probably has the best game out of anybody at this point. That man's dancing right there. I don't think he's been able to dance like that since he left baptism. And Wisconsin is back up to what should be most likely nine points right here. There you go. Four catches, 122 yards, two touchdowns by the man. And now they are up by nine. B.J. Simmons, what is he to do? It's going to be a nice first down run right here. I can't tell you how many yards he's had so far. There you go right there. Hey, thank you for the prayers. Being answered right there. 15 attempts, 128 yards, one touchdown, trying to move our way down the field. I don't think this team can stop him. And what a move right there. Trying to, I know, you sit there and you're like, should I pitch it to the running back? Fuck it. Still got 25 yards on that run. What is Wisconsin going to be able to do when stopping B.J. Simmons? Because eventually, though, this is, should open up the pass as this is going to be another first down right here with just, what, 30 seconds eaten off the clock. And this might be the play of the game right here. What a catch by wide receiver number 88. We're going to show the highlight to y'all. And honestly, because of what's... The shit Wisconsin tries to pull later on. We're going to be able to see the highlight even in slow-mo coming up. Going up for the kick right here. 19-22 to 22 now and just flat out going to tease us. Wisconsin's going to challenge the catch. I don't blame him for challenging the catch. It looks sketchy. If that happened midway down the field, I would be running no huddle. Just so I can prevent any bit of the AI or the computer um, calling challenge or the booth reviewing the thing. Not dealing with that shit, but forcing enough play stands as he was able to drag that right foot in there. And then a beautiful correction right there by cornerback number 22. Things are cooking now. 20 to 22. We get a sack right there by a man who I'd say, besides Benson, has had a great season. He's not the leading tackler, but the man is so involved in coverage. He's gotten a couple pretty much very important interceptions now. And now this defense has got life in them. It's 22 to 20. B.J. Simmons is getting down the field. And, I mean, the man is breaking tackles at will. It looked like technically you could say that was at least one or two broken tackles. Technically you could also say it was up to three. But it doesn't matter. It's the same amount of yards. B.J. Simmons down the field now. It's going to be a play action pass. Same play as it was before. And he's going to throw it down to his man, wide receiver number 89. And, again, you, I know he's flashing. But at what point does this guy think that it's just needed for him to go up for a one-handed catch? He's not Roy Williams in Madden 2009 or something. No, it's just there's no need to be doing that shit. It's whatever. And then here he is, part of the Mackey Award race right here with the award semifinalists that we're going to see next week. Obviously, Maxwell Awards are up. Davey O'Brien Awards. You got the Heisman Award with B.J. Simmons and company. And then speaking of who is most likely going to be your Heisman this season if he keeps it up. 
because it's just not going to taste well, right, fellas? If this man doesn't get about 60 total touchdowns on the year, make that. That should be his fourth total touchdown of the game. Beautiful touchdown pass right there. Just a display of pure arm strength by B.J. Simmons. Nice pocket presence as well to back up just a little bit to the left. And it's going to be the first lead for Iowa today. And they're going to get two more points as well. Make it 28 to 22. Getting things done. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You flash that jersey number 69 because you're going to get fined if you flip them off. You might as well just say fuck you by showing them that you have the number 69 on that chest right there. It's not like the NCAA can do shit about it. But third and nine now. Iowa still up by six. Remember, it was 13 to 22 at one point. Just can't say it enough. This defense has shown up in the second half. And more so, too, that offense has been sticking around most of this game, dealing with shit. And then here we go, wide receiver number 88. I thought he was throwing at 89, but no, I forgot. This was a stud of a play. 340 total yards, almost 200 yards on the ground. Three total touchdowns by B.J. Simmons, so not four like I thought earlier. But here we go, nice little run by him. Probably could have kicked it outside, but he is tired as fuck. He's been doing so much with his legs this game. Easily over that. On, on this play right here, we had a curl route. I saw the blitz coming. B.J. Simmons, beautiful awareness. Calls pretty much the nine-go route right there because at that point, he felt like he was going to be slinging that fucking ball in ASAP, and yes, he does. Takes slight hit on that one, but just the recognition opens up to where he can be able to get rid of it right away, and he also doesn't take a huge hit. It is what it is. It's going to be another touchdown for this team. And then the two-point conversion is good right here by wide receiver number 84, a guy who hasn't even been targeted all game right here. Um, or no, he actually was targeted. He was a guy who got a shit, got a shit hit on that, uh, I think it was a uh, SE drag earlier on in the game but right here almost gets picked off but that wide receiver gets the collateral damage on that hit big hit it's going to be iowa ball like i said a wake-up call was needed it is 23 unanswered points and then bj simmons making moves down the field beautiful broken tackle pretty much gives the linebacker a taste of his own medicine with the forearm shiver and then here we go another beautiful play right here by wide receiver number 89 it goes out of bounds but I'm sorry, Wisconsin, it's our turn. It is our turn to run a challenge. We're not dealing with this shit. We might be up by 14 already, but I want to go up by three fucking touchdowns. So y'all can suck my balls. I don't give a shit at this point. Wide receiver number 89, a man who's had a shaky game. Pretty much everybody was having a shaky game at first. But somehow, some way, they count that as a catch for wide receiver number 89. Make that the fifth total touchdown on the day by B.J. Simmons. I believe it was his third or fourth through the air. And then here you go on that one. Just not able to do much. But however, though, on the incompletion, it's going to be roughing the passer on this Wisconsin defense. A lot of frustration considering you have given up 30 unanswered points, which has been... A combination of four touchdowns as well as two two-point conversions. And make this is a six-point conversion as now B.J. Simmons has snuck in for another, yet another game of six total touchdowns. 255 yards on the ground on 23 attempts. That's the Levian Bell shit at Michigan State. That's Levian Bell shit with the Steelers for a couple ga uh, games. But Levian Bell ain't tossing what? Two or three other touchdowns as well on that one. Beautifully done. I think it was three or four touchdowns today by B.J. Simmons through the air. A wake-up call was needed, fellas. And a wake-up call was fucking answered. Beautiful win right here by B.J. Simmons and Iowa University going up against the Golden Gophers next. As always, fellas, take it easy and see y'all next time.